what you did succeeded by any means i did it what you did Yo, Futures, so I was going to talk about how our collective future is kind of determined by the stories we tell each other, but really, I just figured it all comes back down to memes, so let's talk about memes. What I mean by memes in this sense isn't the funny pictures you find online with the captions over the top, no, it's the, uh, the original uh, kind of definition of it that uh, Richard Dawkins came up with. It's kind of like the next evolution of genes, so it's ideas. Just like genes, memes are very much uh, similar. They have to evolve, they have to have sex, they have to like maintain your attention, otherwise they're lost forever, otherwise that species goes extinct. Because there's only a finite number of human brains on the planet and each of those brains can only hold so much information and hold so much attention at any given time, it means the memes have a scarcity factor they have to compete for. And because of this, you can look at the human species and each human as literally nothing more than meme machines. I mean, our past, present and our future is all determined based on what these memes tell us to do and what collectively we decide. And this is a particular interest to me because when you're talking about the future, really, um, I find that the future only happens because we collectively decide that that's the future we want. The memes decide and then we go down that path. And you can see evidence in this and based on the hive minds and based on what people post. I mean, so my favorite subreddit, R Futurology, if you go on there, it's basically it's stuff about AI, um, driverless cars, and jobs being replaced. So clearly those memes about the future, those little stories that people are telling each other over and over and over again, they're winning. So they're going to become the idea, the kind of sci-fi notion of what our future will be. And this is why sci-fi has been so awesome at predicting the future in the past, not because they were like massive prophets and knew exactly what was going to happen. They just put forward an idea, that meme caught on in the species, and it made it happen. And so then what I think is happening is the memes are kind of preceding the teams, the technology that actually follows. I mean, you look at like the re recent example of Musk announcing the Mars colonization plan. So SpaceX and Elon Musk definitely don't have all the technical details all worked out for establishing a Mars colony and even getting us over there. But the fact that they've announced it now means that those memes are flowing massively through the hive mind. So it's almost like these little memes, this little story of a Mars colonization of, of the human species being a multi-planetary species is kind of like infecting everyone's minds and collectively convincing us it can happen. And I've been noticing this a lot in the blockchain community as well. So people will put forward basically this abstract vision of the future well before they've actually worked out any of the technical documentation or done any of the technology at all. One of my awesome online mates, Johan, does this really well. Um, he basically writes a white paper or he writes, writes blog posts and does little like uh, explanations of a concept before he's even built the technology. So he's got one concept called tax schemes, which is kind of like a positive pyramid scheme in order to generate a decentralized taxation network to basically raise funds for, say, social commons or for a universal basic income. And his latest idea is actually looking at psychiatry and mental health basically as nothing more than memes. Again, like, they're just kind of like memetic viruses that infect people's minds as a way to cope with, this, with the system. So I think his general thesis is the idea that because we live in this centralized hierarchical society that is very um, coercive and basically, you know, you have to do this, you have to get a job, you have to pay taxes, that a lot of our mental health issues like anxiety and depression and even I think schizophrenia, he said at some point, um, they're basically kind of like uh, reactions, memetic reactions to cope with that type of stress. And so bringing this back to the idea of like designing new economies and new operating systems for society, um, I think the first biggest hurdle is trying to sell that concept to people, trying to sell that meme, that future story. Perhaps a unique way to look at humans is to kind of like not see them as individual entities, but literally just kind of like a, a little database of memes. So imagine each human brain can only hold, say, a dozen memes. It'd be awesome to work out the exact number, but let's just go with, say, a dozen. So imagine each brain can only hold 12 ideas in its head at any given time. 12 ideas, 12 pieces of attention, 12 stories. And so perhaps each of these 12 memes in people's heads are kind of like um, database tables, um, but they're all intricately connected to each other because you can't have them stand alone. That would be cognitive dissonance, which some religious people have. So it's like you have the 12 kind of like base database thing, and then above that you have the RAM, so the memory. So every day you're being attacked by new memes. New memes are coming into your inputs, trying to basically set themselves in the database. I think the big problem is that memes are very unreceptive to change. I mean, they don't want to change. This is why, you know, everything is very incremental. This is why the startup scene has fucking terrible ideas, incremental, boring ideas. Perhaps you can look at these as like having a half-life, so genes maybe change every like 100,000 years, memes change maybe every 5 or 10 years, and teams change basically every year. These half-lives cause everything to basically be delayed, so technology will come out every year, and then society takes another 5, 10 years to catch up to the latest technology. Same with genes, it's just too slow for us. And my big interest is how do you actually sell people on these new future stories, because um, they have to be incremental, but they have to be transformative, um, and that's the issue. There's a big difference between futurism and practical futurism. It's almost like you have to intentionally lie to the public. I mean, your future vision might be 100 years out, but you can't give them anything more than 10 years and probably aim for more like five years to say, in five years, here's how your life will be better. So for example, with my vision to build a pure peer-to-peer -peer economy with no centralized hierarchies, no government, no business, and no jobs at all, that's probably too much for people to grasp. I have to bring it back to a five-year level. So right now, people have the idea, the meme of jobs very, very much embedded in their core database. Um, so in five years, I basically just have to sell them on this idea that, hey, you can have a better job. 
and probably even lesser than saying, hey, imagine in five years, wouldn't it be cool if you could work on whatever you want, wherever you want, and still get paid for it and work any hours you wanted. That's probably still a little bit too much for a five year thing. Maybe even just saying like, hey, imagine in five years, if you could work for uh, one or two or three different companies, still be paid the same amount and you get to pick your own hours. So you can work from home or work anywhere. But there's also something to be said about uh, basically announcing an audacious goal and having a vision that is kind of above the line of super credibility. So when Musk says we're getting to Mars in nine years, you believe him. And as a bonus, by announcing that audacious goal, um, you basically claim it. So Elon Musk basically owns the Mars colonization concept now. If Jeff Bezos came along or the CEO of Boeing came along, they're laughed off. So yeah, how do you write the perfect memetic virus to sell a future vision to the mainstream audience? Snap your thoughts at Future.